Hey everybody, Phineas Rage here, and today I was going to show you Yurg's awesome treehouse, which became awesomer overnight, which is kind of a problem for me, because you see, I saw Yurg's awesome treehouse, and it was this nice little tiny oak tree, and very tiny homes, and I thought that was really cool. I was like, well, I'll just kind of, you know, semi-prank it by making a, yeah, here we go, a slightly better treehouse. And as is aptly named, look, watch here, Finn's slightly better treehouse. Now, then, like, right overnight, uh, Jörg goes right ahead and expands the house into this thing of beauty you see before you. And I say, well, now my house is not even slightly better. Now my house is a house of lies, and I don't want a house of lies. I want a house of truth and amazingness. So so that's the first part of the problem, that Jörg has done this amazing thing, and now I must up my game. The third part of this problem, let's let's demonstrate the third part of the problem, okay? That's Yopi's, like, starter temporary house, which is amazing. Okay, and this is a plot here. Where, as I understand it, she's going to build yet another tree, and so then there will be three trees, a trio of trees, and this one will be yet more awesome still. So, again, I don't know what I'm going to do here. Soon I will be the littlest of tiny homes, which I suppose is a victory, but still, let me let me just show you what I've done here. It was it was all supposed to be just slightly better, just, just slightly better than that one, but still, here we go. So, don't, tiny homes, you know, key you think efficiency, you know, light, good, okay. Art, that's good. Storage for all the junk in there. Crafting table in the floor. Furnace, what's in here? Oh, I'm not cooking anything right now, but I could be. That's great. Uh, here we go. Take that up there. Some more art. Bedroom, you know, an ender chest. With all my amazing things. That's really cool. You can kind of see out there, which is nice. So kind of like a window. Been thinking of putting in some windows, but I like the leaves as they are. If you want to see the sky or the night stars, uh, just get up here on the roof. Look around. It's beautiful, right? And it's 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 pretty it's pretty nice. And it is slightly better than what that was, but now I don't know. I think the only thing I might have advantage now over that house, close the roof, is uh, I do have a basement. I needed a basement because you know I I need my storage and I couldn't give up storage. You know, so I made sure to build it. Get down the ladder. Get in the ladder. This is difficult. Okay, made it down the ladder. There we go. So this is my basement, um, which I use for storage. And it's a big part of, you know, tiny homes, big living, is you got to make sure that you don't sacrifice. That's Callie Kitten's head. She's, she's been dropping these like crazy, so I have one as well. They're all over the front of her house, so you should go check it out. In any case, uh, and this is, of course, the, you know, amazing power beam that powers the uh, entire tiny home, I guess, we'll say. Do I need these to be here? Maybe not. I might replace those with more power beams, like I've done over here. We'll see, but that might be in the future. In any case, this is... This is my tiny home, and as you can see, while it has an amazing basement, it's, uh, it is... Oh, no! Okay, that was strange, but I'm back on the server. Ugh, server no longer crashed. In any case, that's my tiny home, and I am going to need to do something about it, and I have some plans as to how to make it better. Oh, my goodness, creepers. As you can see... Oh, zombies. Oh, oh whoa! Okay, so as you can see, already there's excitement in this episode. So how are we going to deal with this situation? I think we're going to go home, and we're going to start working on our house, and we'll just ignore these guys entirely. So, okay, good times, and I'll see you guys once we've gotten some more work done. Get away, get away! As you can see, I've made some improvements. I'm going to be making a moat and a bridge over that moat. I got my two guardian pumpkin mans right there. I've got... Here, I'll show you. Let me jump over that. Boom. have to change the sign to Finn's yet more awesome treehouse. Um, or significantly improved, perhaps. We'll see. Uh, as you can see, ah, there we go. I've added some more floors, clearly. You know, I need to class up the joint a bit. Some jack-o'-lanterns in here. Uh, you know, this part here, just is, this is going to be for the fishing down here, and the fishing, I want to fish. I might have to expand this a bit to get more of that fishing pond I want. All right, well, we'll deal with that later, but in any case, I need a fishing pond back there. I have a nice little couch for being out here and, you know, looking out amongst the world and what a beautiful place we have. That's great. Ah. And this is another way up. And this goes to my uh, eh, special get-around launcher. And it's not quite finished yet. I need to put some leaves around it to make it look like it's more of... The, uh, the tree, but as you can see, I got my elytra. Ow! Oh, and I clipped my foot there. Anyway, so that's that's gonna be much cooler when I'm when I'm better with elytra. In any case, I'm gonna land her on the stairs if I can. Okay, I did it. Good job. All right, so it's coming along, and uh, and we'll see more of it soon. And now I think we can call this done because we are certainly 
a little bit taller there than uh, Yurg's treehouse, so that's that's good. Uh, and Yopi's treehouse over here, as we can see, is as of yet non-existent. So we're gonna not worry about the competition so much. That ooh, what's this sign about? That's oh, probably just Yopi's plot over there. Okay. Huh. All right. Well, Yopi, I'll maybe I'll, I'll get a sapling on the way down and help out. Help you get started with that. In any case, uh. I am basically done with this. I'll show you what I did with this part here. I need to drop these dark oak saplings back off over the tree farm way over there. So I thought what I'd do is, you know, in a second, I'll cut over it too, but I'm going to grab my elytra, climb up to the top of that there, fly over to the tree farm, and then fly back and show you that trip I took multiple times whilst building this amazing, slightly more awesome tree house uh, right over here. Okay, so I'll, I'll see you at the top of that thing. One thing I wanted to point out before I go up there, like I said I was going to. One thing I wanted to point out, a problem um, that I hadn't really considered with this moat, uh, is that animals would get stuck in there. Hey guys, so I, I have this growing menagerie, this ever-growing menagerie, and one time there's a skeleton horse in here, and I'm like, I want to go in into my house, but there's a skeleton horse in here, and that was terrible. And this this was a creeper happened like over here and blew up this, this guy's buddy, which was here, blew him right up, so I haven't put those back together yet. I might just even... Well, he's fine. Let him be a warning to everyone else, right? Uh, don't fall in the moat. Look at this this guy. He's in there probably forever. All right. Anyway, so that's enough about that. I'll see you guys at the top of that thing. As promised, here I am on top of that thing, which is this iron engine machine thing powered by these villagers and their joy and harmony. So I'm going to take a flight over there. going to make sure I have my elytra on. There they are, beautiful and majestic. Let's take care of uh, the UI there, and let's just, let's fly on over. Let's take a look. Here we go. And wings deploy. Oh, good. Always go to wings deploy. I love the sound. I love the sound of Elytra. Oh, wow. Darkness just happened. That was very quick. I was, oh, and now, and, okay, someone was sleeping, clearly. I am so close to the tree farm already, I need to swing around wide. That's the tree farm. Oh, nice. Oh, look, Yopi built a house over here, I presume, or someone copying Yopi's style. Uh, well done. This is the tree farm here. I'm going to have to swing around through it. Oh, who's this? Maybe that's Tiger down there? It looks like that's Tiger. Or maybe it's Chameleon. I'm not sure. I have chat turned off because I'm recording. I'll have to uh, carefully land over here. Ah, there we go. Well done. All right, let's see. Let's take a look over here. Here I am at Piggy's Tree Farm. I believe that's Chameleon over there. Let's, we'll take a look in a second. And we're going to go in here. We're going to drop off these extra dark oak saplings, which we so generously were given by Mr. Pigglesworth and his amazing Redstone Tree Farm, the video for which you should check out. It was released uh, just earlier in the week, I suppose, from when this video comes out. Now, where am I going to put these, these dark oak saplings? Is it here? Yeah, I'll put them there. Wow, that's an awful lot of these. This is very effective. Well done, Picklesworth. I am super impressed. You should watch the video on it. It explains the whole thing I'm going to you. All right, so we're going to go over here past uh, the spoiler-free barrier. We're going to figure out uh, who this person is. Oh, it's the Picklesworth. OMG, Picklesworth. Why are you looking so weird, man? What's what's up with how weird you look? All right, one second. I'm going to... Whoa, what? What is going on with him? What's going on with me? Is I going to know what's going on? I'm going to get this figured out. I'll be right back. Okay, well, that was the Picklesworth over there. He's having a weird problem with his Minecraft skin in 1.9.4. So that's funny. He just looks pretty funny. Okay, this is J Seed's light tower, a lighthouse over here, lighthouse tower thing with his nice, you know, gate and everything. All these iron people here. And that's Garakus' head from when we had the, the player drop heads command block turned on for a short period of time. Let's go through here. And oh my, this is. I have no idea what that is. Um, these are a bunch of these cool things. Nice. Okay. This is the uh, Pickle Vader. It just doesn't work. It doesn't work. The idea is you would get on this Pickle Man here. He's got a saddle. And then you'd be like, I want to ride this Pickle Man. And then I want to want to ride that. And you just Pickle it up. The the easier way is the, the minecart. You know, we just do this bit. It's kind of tricky on the last one sometimes. You have to kind of hit shift and right click. Just It's a very strange thing. Like, there we go. Whoop, whoop. No, get up. There we go. Did it. Okay, let's take a... F oh, hey, look at you, buddy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get... What is going on? Super dangerous. Super dangerous. Okay. Okay, good thing you got these elytra on. All right. 
Whew. Okay, baby banking bits. Thank you for the wish of having a safe jump, Oink. I appreciate that. It's very kind of you. Okay, this is all very pretty. Oh, let's, let's get up here. And there's three jump platforms uh, up here from which one can jump. Here is the lava, which creates the light of the lighthouse. Uh, caution, be sure to have your wings on. Have fun. That's so important. It is super embarrassing, I imagine, not to have your wings on when you jump off this thing. So uh, I want this one as it goes back towards my house. That goes somewhere. And this goes, I don't know. I'll try that out someday. In any case, we're going to go back to F5 mode. Get these on my bar just in case. I don't know if this will save my life, but we're going to try. All right. And get rid of that. And here we go. Jump. Deploy. Oh, perfect. Beautiful. Let's, let's, there. We try to keep a higher view. Look at the chorus farm there. Don't know whose house that is. That's pretty. Let's take a quick look over here at the snowman again. It's a really good snowman. This is Rain's house, which has a... Wait, no, that's not Rain's. Whose house is that? I don't know. I'll just stop by. That's Rain's place. Check this action out. That's pretty amazing, huh? Our mighty overlord Rain. I love your house. Uh, here's Yopi's house again. And there's, again... Oh, here's my house. Look, it's finished. Again, slightly taller than uh, my friend's house. Okay, don't crash into anything. That would be super embarrassing. I built the moat for exactly this reason, so I could crash land in it if I had to. Uh, but it looks like I won't have to today. Ah, oh, whew. Good job, Finn. Thank you. All right, so here we are. Back at those. As you can see, I've added some more layers to it. I have a platform for jumping off of over there. Oh, I forgot to get another a sapling. I was going to plant a sapling over here for Yopi uh, to give you a, a head start on your, your treehouse, Yopi. Um, hmm. Well, okay, I'll have to do that, and I also have a gift for Chameleon Hidden that I have to drop off over there. So uh, I'll do that, and I think we'll call it an episode. Oh, this would be a great time to hit like and or subscribe. This would be a fantastic time for that, so I, I recommend taking a moment. Okay, ready, cool. I'm going to go get some stuff. I'll be right back. Here we are back at Yopi's place, and here we go. And friendship. There you go. I gave you a spruce sapling, Yopi, uh, so you could have something different than Jurg and myself. We look forward to what you do with this house if, in fact, you decide to go with spruce. It's up to you. I'm just trying to help out. Just trying to be a friend. Okay, so enjoy that. And let's go over here and give Chameleon her gift. Let's use some Ender Burls. Whoops! Uh, hope for the best, hope for the best, hope for the best. Nice. Good shot. All right, here we go. And let's go up here. This is my old house uh, in which... Whoops. Huh, in which I'm missing some steps. I'm sorry, let me let me fix this. Um, yeah, I thought it'd be fine. Okay, so this is my old place, which I'm really no longer living in. So uh, now it's chameleon, chameleons? Yeah, chameleons, um, other house. Heart. Okay, there we go. So, Chameleon, that's for you. Enjoy. Because Chameleon said, but I like that house. Why are you going to blow it up? Because I was going to I was gonna blow it up. Anyways, but I'm not going to do that now. So, that's that's it, folks. We're going to call that a good, productive session of full stack. I've built a house which is now slightly taller than Jurg's house. So, I, I feel uh, justified in saying this is slightly better than this one. Uh, again, that's not a competition. I mean, it's a competition. What am I saying? It's a competition. A friendly one, though. Friendly one, love your house. Thank you. You inspired me to build an even better house, like a slightly better house over here. So, thanks, Jurg. You're inspiring. Okay, cool. Well, that was that was actually pretty great, huh? Look at that. Everyone learned. Everyone grew. Well, at least me. All right, there we go. Uh, Yopi, let's best of best of luck to you in that spruce. Uh, all of you in the moat. This is your life now. This is your life now. So, I'll get some carrots maybe and feed you guys. Maybe make some more like a pig moat. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay, cool. We'll do that. All right, I'll see all of you in the next episode. Remember, hit like, hit subscribe, because that would be super awesome. All right, thanks, everybody. Next episode, bye-bye.